Hello everyone. Welcome to Funnel2Tunnel.com. Today we are discussing the topic of draft surveys. This is the second video on the topic in continuation with first video. The tips given in the first video are very important and you will be requiring them throughout your career. And you can trust my word on that. So, let us move ahead and understand the scope of discussion for this video. We shall be first discussing the draft survey procedure, followed by discussing a worked example. And finally, we shall be applying the techniques learned in previous video to the draft survey formulas and see how it affects the whole process. But before we move forward, I would advise you to check out the last video in case you have not. The link of the video is given in the description below. Now grab a cup of tea or coffee and let's move ahead. Draft survey is the commercially accepted form of weighing the ship which is based on Archimedes' principle. The weight of the ship is determined before and after loading and allowances are made for the difference in ballast water, fuel fresh water etc. The difference between the two displacements so obtained gives the weight of the cargo loaded or discharged. Let us discuss the procedure too. The draft marks are obtained visually and using them the displacement of the ship is calculated after applying certain corrections we shall be discussing those corrections later in the worked example. Now, the draft survey is done on both occasions, first before the vessel starts to load called the initial draft survey and secondly when the vessel completes loading known as the final draft survey. The difference between the net displacements obtained at initial and final draft survey gives the amount of cargo loaded. Same procedure applies when the vessel reaches discharge port. Let us know about initial draft survey. At initial draft survey, the ship is empty and weight of an empty ship has three components namely light weight of the ship which is fixed, stores and spares collectively known as constant which considered as fixed and ballast, fuel, fresh water etc. which is changeable. So the net displacement of the vessel at loading port is equal to light ship plus stores. On the other hand, weight of a loaded ship has four components light weight of the ship which is fixed. Stores and spares collectively known as constant which is considered to be fixed. Ballast, fuel, fresh water etc. which are changeable and finally the cargo loaded which is fixed. Now the loaded net displacement is equal to light ship plus stores plus cargo. Therefore, we can simply say that the weight of the loaded cargo is the difference between net displacements obtained on two occasions. Let us now discuss a worked example. Chief officer has obtained the forward, mid and aft drafts as shown on your screen. Both port and starboard side marks are given. Mean drafts are calculated as shown by taking average of both side drafts for forward, midship and aft drafts. Let us calculate the apparent trim by subtracting the mean aft draft from mean forward draft. We need to apply a correction to these mean draft in order to obtain the drafts at perpendiculars the correction is calculated as following. Apparent trim multiplied by the distance of draft mark from the perpendicular divided by the length between marks which is length between forward and aft perpendiculars. For example if we want to calculate the correction for forward draft we need to multiply apparent trim 0.96 meters in this case with the distance of the forward draft mark from the perpendicular 2.94 meters in this case and divide them by the length between marks 171.56 meters in this case. This way we have obtained correction to all the three draft marks forward midship and aft. Let us now apply this correction to the draft marks and obtain the correct forward mid and aft draft marks. These are the drafts at perpendiculars. Let us now obtain the true trim by subtracting the corrected aft draft from the corrected forward draft. Now we need to obtain the displacement of the vessel. But for doing so we should know the hydrostatic draft of the vessel. In order to obtain the hydrostatic draft of the vessel we need to apply the formula hydrostatic draft is equal to forward draft plus the aft draft plus 6 times of the midship draft hole divided by 8. In this formula you may notice that the quarter mean draft or the hydrostatic involves 6 times of the midship. So you can well imagine the importance of correctly observing the midship draft. 
many draft surveyors try to manipulate the mid-shift draft when they are noting them. Be cautious to this. Once you have the hydrostatic draft you can use the stability booklet to obtain the hydrostatic data as shown in the table. You might need to interpolate the data for your draft as shown however on most of the draft survey programs this is automatically extracted. So once you have the displacement of the vessel in salt water we need to apply few corrections to it in order to arrive at the net displacement we require. The first correction is called first trim correction or the layer correction. This is obtained by multiplying trim in centimeters with LCF and TPC and whole thing divided by the LBP. LCF is measured in meters starting from amidships. If LCF and trim are in same direction the correction is positive. When they both are in opposite direction the correction is negative. The second correction is called the second trim correction or Nomoto correction formula for which is square of the trim multiplied by 50 multiplied by difference of MCTC. This correction is always positive and added the th third correction is called list correction or heel correction. This correction is always positive. In this example it is not applied. The fourth correction is the density correction and applies when the ship is floating in water with density other than 1.025. So we have obtained the true displacement of the ship for density of 1.0185. Once we have the true displacement, we can deduct the deductibles such as fuel, fresh water, ballast water, etc. and obtain the net displacement. Let us see this through a draft survey sheet. If you can see in the initial draft survey column, the liquid's quantity of 502.70 is subtracted from the actual displacement and net displacement is obtained. Similarly, in the final draft survey the liquids are subtracted from the actual displacement and net displacement is obtained. Also, you can see the difference between both displacements gives you the cargo loaded figure. Additionally, you can also see the different corrections applied in order to arrive at the actual displacements in both cases of initial and final draft survey. Let us move ahead and apply the techniques we learnt in our previous video on draft survey and check how you can use it to ensure that optimum cargo is loaded or discharged. So as per our previous video, our aim at loading port should be to obtain slightly more constant at initial draft survey and slightly less cargo at final draft survey. This is necessary to keep a certain amount of cargo up your sleeve so that you do not have shortage at discharge port. Short cargo at discharge port means cargo claims which you should avoid. Now to get more constant during initial draft survey you should read draft slightly more than actual or show ballast slightly less than actual or show water density slightly more than actual. You notice in all the three cases you will have slightly higher net displacement which in final survey would result in saving some amount of cargo up your sleeve. Similar cases with final draft survey. To get less cargo during final draft survey you should read draft slightly less than actual or show ballast slightly more than actual or show water density slightly less than actual. If you see, all three of above directly reduces the final net displacement slightly which again would result in saving certain amount of cargo up your sleeve. This theory can similarly be applied to discharge port situation in reverse. Do check it out in your end and let me know in comment section what you think. Alright this was it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and will be more confident in carrying out the draft surveys next time. Question and answers portal is now active on the website so you can submit your questions directly on the website for faster resolution. This portal would help us to interact, ask our doubts and share our knowledge and benefit the maritime community as a whole. Thank you so much for watching the video have a great day.